Hey, this is Left Technical, and I'm going to show you how you can boot your application um, into the taskbar. So, um, to do this, we're going to want to delete this form here and then go into the program code. And we're going to get rid of the parameter in application run. And what we need to do in code is create two things a notify icon and a context menu and then we're going to associate the context menu with the notify icon so you have something to interface with and this is this is all going to be put into the system tray on the taskbar so um, first things first we're going to construct a context menu strip actually um, the context menu strip is um, like a newer version of the context menu and uh, we're going to use that for the notify icon. The notify icon can take both types. So we're going to go private static context menu strip get context. So to add an item, we're going to say CMS items add, and then we're going to specify the text to, dis to be displayed on the item and an event handler, a click event handler. So this is just going to be an exit button. So exit, and then we're going to use the event handler override, or overload, sorry, and this is this one right here and there is no overload to specify just the event handler and the string text so we have to use the uh, this one right here so for the image we're gonna just put in null because we don't want an image and then we're gonna say new event handler um, exit click alright and then we're gonna return the CMS and next we're going to make the event handler so private static void um, exit click object sender event args and then in this event handler we're just going to exit the application Okay, so before the application run, we're going to create the notify icon. So notify icon, notify icon is equal to notify icon. And then we're going to associate the context menu strip. Context menu strip is equal to get context. And then we need an icon. So I'm going to go open the debug directory here. And I'm just going to get an icon from one of my other projects. Web files. There's an icon. Go back to the debug directory. Okay, and this icon is called webfiles.ico. So we're going to go notify icon.icon is equal to new icon. And I'm going to add a using statement at the top of the code. And then here we can specify the file name, which is going to be webfiles.ico. If you don't um, set an icon for your notify icon object, the notify icon won't show up in the system tr system tray. So you need to do this. And finally, we're going to say notify icon dot visible is equal to true to show it. Let's see if it works. 
So here's the web files icon down in the system tray and if you right click on it, it says exit and you can just click on that and exit the application. So two key things to remember are you need to create the notify icon and show it before running the application otherwise the application will terminate uh, instantly and also you need to specify an icon for the notify icon to be visible in the system tray. So that's it for this video. This is Left Technical signing out.